federal the Democrat leader Jacob Singh was in Thunder Bay today. He took questions from the media following that speech. Together, um, and we're working for the people. So thank you, Jagmeet, for coming. Always a pleasure. Thanks so much, Yaksem. Uh, we're really lucky to have Yaksem as our candidate here in, in Thunder Bay, Rainy River. She's a, a powerhouse and someone who cares deeply about the community and is going to be a great representative. Uh, and as Yuxim said, we spent the past couple of days meeting with people across the, the region, across the, the city. We heard from a lot of folks. We heard from workers, we heard from retirees, we've heard from, from families. And the message is clear. In the north, people are feeling the squeeze. They're telling us that things are more expensive than ever. They go in the grocery store, grocery prices are up. They go in to look at their bills, the rent is up, mortgage is up. And then they look at their things like their rent, their cell phone. And their, and their internet fees. Things are just more expensive, and it's harder and harder to get ahead. And folks are telling me, they say that, you know, the Liberals have let us down. They've been in power for nine years, and things are worse now. It's getting harder to get ahead. It feels like people are just barely able to get by. And they feel really frustrated and angry at, at the Liberals who've, who've let them down. And they also tell me they're really worried about Pierre Polyev especially the retirees who remember Harper days. They're really worried because they know what conservatives do. Here in Thunder Bay, people know what conservatives do in Ontario. Doug Ford's conservatives cut, they cut health care, they cut education, and they want to privatize health care. So you have to spend money out of pocket. And they know Pierre is the same thing. Pierre has made it very clear. He wants to cut dental care. Even though 2 million seniors have signed up for the program, 45,000 plus have already gotten care, meaning these are 45,000 seniors and counting that have gone into a dentist, have been able to get their teeth looked after. And Pierre Polyev wants to take that away. He wants to take that away from those seniors. Take it away from your grandparents and your parents. Doesn't think they deserve to get their teeth looked after. Even though he's had dental care paid for by the public for most of his adult life. He doesn't want seniors to have it. And he said, Pierre Polyev conservatives would take that away right away. Get rid of that. They would not let seniors have that. He tried to block pharmacare. He said that people living with diabetes don't deserve to have their diabetes medication covered and their devices covered. He says you don't deserve it. He would take that away. Pierre Polyev wants to cut and gut the services that people need. He wants to cut pensions. He's very open about it. He said one of the first things he said in the fall of 2022, his plan was cutting pensions and EI and putting half a billion dollars in the pockets of rich CEOs. So people tell me they're really worried about that. They're afraid of what Pierre would do to them. He would make things, the price of Pierre is something that people are afraid of. The price of Pierre would mean life costs more, less services, less access to the programs you need, harder to get health care without paying out of pocket, no more dental care, no more farming care. That is a serious price. The price of Pierre is going to cost people too much. The price of Pierre is, what is he going to do? Well, he's going to cut the things that people need and put billions of dollars in the pockets of billionaires. That's what corporations, that's what conservatives do. They give money to the big corporations. That's what, that's what Harper did with the corporate handouts to the tune of billions of dollars while people are, are struggling to get by. That's the legacy of conservatives. That's what Pierre wants to do. And so people need to know that things can be better. And I want folks to know we can tackle the big problems we're up against. We brought in dental care covering millions of seniors We've shown that we can get things done. And right now we're up against a serious challenge with the high cost of groceries. People know when they go in and buy their groceries that they're paying more than ever for their groceries. And these corporate grocery stores are making record profits. They know they're getting ripped off. They know that. And so what we need to do is stop these corporate giants, these corporate grocery stores from ripping you off. When you're paying the highest cell phone fees and internet fees in the world, you know you're getting ripped off by these big telcos, Rogers, Telus and Bell. So we need to fight back. That's fully within the federal government's control to take them on and make your bills more affordable. Liberals and conservatives haven't done it. They're not going to do it. And I want folks to know we're committed to it. We've shown you that we can deliver. You Democrats can deliver and make life better. We can tackle the big problems that we're up against and we can make life better. We can make life more affordable. We can bring down the price of groceries by protecting consumers, putting in stronger laws that protect you, and putting in more severe penalties so these corporate grocery stores can't rip you off. We can make sure we use our federal powers to bring down the price of your cell phone fees and your internet fees. We can make life more affordable. You Democrats can make that happen. And so I want you to know, I know that you're worried about 
people have shared with me in the north are worried about the, the price of Pierre. Let me know, I want you to know, we are fighting back against that. He tried to stop Pharmacare, we made it happen. We made that law happen and people are gonna get that coverage. So know that we got your back, we hear you and see you in the north and New Democrats are committed to fighting for you. Yooks M1, your local candidate, is gonna be a powerful voice for you in Ottawa. We want Ottawa to work for you, not for the CEOs. The Conservatives have made it clear whose side they're on and the Liberals are out of touch. If you like what you saw, you want to hear more of what you saw and see more of what you saw, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and keep in touch with Net News Ledger for your latest and greatest news from across the region and across the country.